Okay, so the next part that you want to do is kind of familiarize yourself with, um, oh, the other thing too is, I just noticed this, I drew a line down the middle. Uh, if you guys, you all draw a, um, a line down the middle of your drawing, sometimes it will really give your design a whole nother level just by splitting things up here and creating these like varieties here. So you could do like, I uh, kind of didn't draw it nice here, uh, but you can draw, you could paint this little section here. Uh, you could do it like a, a, um, a one on a scale of like one to seven or one to eight with your gray scale. And then you could do this one like a, um, a seven. Right. Um, make sure that when you're doing these, you don't um, end up with a bunch of like ones, light ones that uh, will be take up like this whole strip if you want to separate it. So for this one, I might do so whatever ones are touching here. So like if this these circles are um, like a six. Then you might want to make these like a two or two and maybe like a, a four. So you don't want them all to match because if you have this a two, right? And then this a two out of eight, um, it will all line up and it will just create like a, a big strip of light gray. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your designs. You can see here that I kind of wrote little numbers, if you drop, write it lightly, you can just erase it um, and then paint. So um, one of the ways I like to go about it is doing all of my, labeling it, drawing it out and then labeling it all. Uh, and then what you can do is, uh, you know, do all my ones. So let's say that uh, I'm gonna do like, every other, like this will be a one, this will be like a three, right? So that these are different and then vary variation. So like maybe a one, three. So then it's like these ones aren't touching, three, one, three, one. Remember the numbers are just the shades of gray. That's all I'm referring to when I use the numbers. So um, again, I like to use the frog tape. Use this as much as you can uh, because it will make your lines very plain and most times even save you time. So I'm just gonna cut this one here. This circle is a seven. So I'm gonna paint this seven. Actually, I'm gonna tape here too. So I'm gonna make both of these circles um, a seven. So that way, when I have my paint out here, I'm only kind of needing to do it once. I can just kind of go through and do all my sevens. So I made this kind of a dark shade here. Nice even uh, gray, no streaks in there. The other thing too, when uh, you know you're doing it all at once, you can go around and do a bunch of these. Is um, 
you can let it dry. So almost by the time you get around to it, in theory, this will be dry because acrylic paint dries quickly. So then you can just peel these off, start over. Um, the tape shouldn't rip off your acrylic paint here. Um, try and do it the best you can. Uh, it shouldn't, but if you tape over the areas like multiple times, it might start to tear a little bit of the paint, but you can also go in and touch it up here. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know what, why don't, while I'm waiting for this one to dry, go in, and this is a two here. This one up here is a two. So I'm just going to use my lighter shade from last time. This time I'm gonna go around and fill in this area. Oh, I might wanna tape here too, right? So I don't get it on uh, the surrounding areas. So this would be a different shade right? Because you don't want your two interfering with, if I want to keep these separate, they can be the same, but for my thing, I'm going to keep, so I have it saved here. Just have my brush slightly wet. Um, just going to go in here with the lighter shade. Uh, this would not be a two, this is more, this is a four, I'm sorry. So this is my four. Just make sure that's pressed down here. And I'm just gonna go around, nice even coats. Gray, it's a little thick there, but. So there you're seeing some variation in your grays. You wanna try and go for contrast. So you think about um, giving variety and not making like big blobs of the same gray. The more you give it variation, the, the more it's gonna pop out. So I'm gonna go and peel this area off here. here. I could just clean that up at another time. So then I would put a lighter shade around here, right, for variation on light and dark. This area is still wet, but I'm just going to peel it off. There you go. So I'm just going to do this area here. You can see how that 
using this formula throughout your whole project will give it like really awesome effects and like nice clean geometric edges. Uh, just kind of zoom in. Here you can see the start. Uh, if you have a nice flat brush that has a good edge, um, you can do your best to make the edges, but remember that the craftsmanship points will be uh, favored towards using tape and uh, rulers and all that. So uh, yeah, that's about it. You'll have a really awesome tape mound, I'm sure, by the time you're done. Much bigger than this. And um, yeah, just uh, be careful again. Enjoy your Thanksgiving and um, that's all.